uh, three siblings from the same family living in Gamalenga, Vihiga County, are blind. One of them also has a daughter who was born blind. Now, their story is a reflection of several other families in the same county. We observed them at their home and at an eye hospital, and this is their story. Vihiga, a scenic mosaic of rock after rock after rock. But what if you lived here all your life and never got to see it? What if dusk and dawn were the same picture? What if you could see something your two brothers and sister could never see? Ningekuwa na chukua macho ingekuwa ya kutolewa tena inarudishwa ningekuwa natoa yangu moja na wapea mtu moja tembelee tena nirudishie tena nibadilishie mwingine lakini kakuta sina uwezo Gisambai ward in Hamisi sub county Jackson Igunzo and his wife as better and they don't live here anymore For five of their eight adult children these pictures are the only memories left the other three we see Morin Dominic and Dalmas and their grandchild Vanessa, these memories are frozen in time. 30 year old Molly Ndudenyo was the first sibling to go blind. She lost her sight at one after bouts of severe migraines. Molly says she learned how to sue at Kibosi School for the Blind. It was there that she met the father of her only daughter, Vanessa Ngaira. Vanessa, like her, cannot see the world she lives in. Twenty-nine year old Dominic Ogwemba tells us that there are traces of his three years of vision. Music makes him happy. He tells us he wants to marry and have a family of his own. Dalmas is the youngest of the three. For him, KCP is something unknown yet longed for still. Their sister, Nancy Muleshe, is the eldest. At 39, she has a home of her own, but she has to come and fend for her siblings. <laughs> mara ya kwanza kwa sababu hata kulikuwa na vicheko kwa wazazi wangu kwa sababu wamezaa watoto vipofu lakini sisi tuliendelea kuwapenda shida ni kwamba wazazi walipoaga dunia imekuwa vigumu kuwalea kwa sababu wazazi walikuwa wanawashughulikia zaidi kuliko sisi mimi na wanangu uzuni ama kitu kibaya ama kama dudu manywa ikitambaa kwao hawajui ni nini natambaa kwao hawajui kama hata kitu kibaya kimeingia kwa nyumba ama kiko malazini mwao hawajui according to the 2009 census vihiga though small is the most populous county with close to 1000 people living in every square kilometer but sadly there are hardly any reliable records of people living with disability and more specific blindness the national prevalence of blindness is estimated at 0.7%. It's more difficult to establish a pediatric figure and a Western region specific estimate. But even here, for many who cannot see and battle eye complications, a light emerges. The Franz Church Sabatia Eye Hospital, established in 1996, is the only specialized independent hospital of its kind in the Western Belt. Ernest Orlando is the hospital's CEO. Of all the deserving areas, we ask him why Vihiga? Out of the realization that there was a total lack of eye care provision in this part of the, the country, Onanchi are very poor. They are not able to afford eye care. Ignorance like uh, disease, poverty, and also distance from, from, from the hospital. Some people can, can't access uh, services because they live far away. We serve up to 40,000 patients in a year. We have currently two resident uh, ophthalmologists. The volume of work that we do, um, we are few. There's also a bigger problem in Kenya and sub-Saharan Africa, a wider gap in research. Very few studies have been done on blindness, and even those done are not in the public domain. Vera Sitati is also a resident ophthalmologist in Sabatia Eye Hospital. She's working on two studies that could find answers to infant blindness that can be treated and avoided. One is the retinopathy of prematurity that examines blindness in premature babies and treats it early, and eye trauma in children. But let us not ignore eye ailments. I would like to urge parents that when they notice any eye ailments in the children, whether it be a red eye or just something abnormal looking in the eye, that they should be seek treatment immediately. Some of those conditions are conditions that can be treated very effectively if diagnosed early. I 
Children usually are afraid of what they can see. At five, Vanessa Ngaira is afraid of what she cannot see. Her mother says that after she was born, doctors told her that she had cancer of the eye, but she could not afford treatment. Nothing can be done for her visual pathway. We also had to establish whether their family's case is in their gene pool or just simply a matter of disease. The eyes have undergone what we, what we call thysis. The eyeball is a bit distorted. Uh, there's a genetic component to their disease affecting the retina and the vitreous. There may not have been much to do to alter that, that disease process. They are not able to regain their vision, but still there is hope to be more comfortable in the environment. There is also counseling that is done. Even if they have lost their sight, they still have their vision. Matumaini tu mweza kunisaidia kwa kupeleka shule na pia asipitia maisha kama yamin mepitia. Naza fagia, kazi tuwe yote naza fanya. Ata naomba Vanessa pia fanya yu kazi. Si wazazi walio tenda dhambi. Niwe mimi, niwe hivi. Bali ni kwa mapenzi ya mungu. That's why mi sipendi kujichukua hiku sabu mungu aliniumba kwa mfano wake. Ani kalipa ani kila kazi. Mimi huwa naweza. Mimi nataka nioe. Na maisha yangu mimi nataka nioe. Sitaki nikaya peke yangu kwa nyumba hivyo. This is the final resting place of Jackson Kigunzu and his wife Azibeta Ngaira who died in 2003. He would later die in 2010. And I'm going to ask the 22-year-old son, Dalmas, if he feels that God has placed a very heavy burden on weak shoulders. Ako nipatia mzigo mzito. Nikwate vila linyomba hivi. Nilifika, niliacha kusoma kwa sababu vile nini jani ni fufisi. What would life have been for their children if they had still been alive? Dalmas, the youngest, tells me he doesn't know, but he knows the blindness that he and his siblings live in is not a curse. Dorcas Wangira, KTN News, Vihiga.